Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and welcome to your second Dom7 tutorial. So today I want to talk about selecting elements within Dom7. Um, so basically once you have selected some elements inside Dom7, you can then use some of the features that Dom7 provides. Um, so this means that every Dom7 use begins with a selection of elements. So Let's learn how to do that in this video. So right here, I've got this unordered list tag um, with four list items inside it. So we're going to use some of the selection methods that DOM7 provides um, to actually select some items inside this list um, as well as outside of the actual list. All right. So um, inside the HTML document for this page, it looks like this. Okay. So We've got this unordered list tag right there um, with an ID of my list, followed by the four list item tags um, and also a strong tag with a class of sour. Okay, so we have quite a good hierarchy here um, to experiment with the, um, the selection methods of DOM7. Um, so down in the JavaScript, we've got the DOM7 library included and installed. Um, for a guide on installing DOM7, check out my previous video. Alright, so we can begin by first selecting the actual unordered list, my list tag um, right there. Okay, so um, inside the JavaScript, let's begin by defining a new constant and we'll call this one my list. Okay, this will be equal to um, the DOM7 function, just like that. Um, and inside here, we're going to pass in a selector. So this will be um, basically identical to a CSS selector. So we can pass in a hashtag and then we're going to say my list. All right. So this right here basically means um, select the elements on the page with an ID of my list. All right. So if I was to console.log. Um, my list just like that and then save this and refresh the browser um, inside the developer console we get um, a DOM7 collection containing a single element. If I was to expand this um, we can see we have this my list tag right there. So now we actually have this collection we can now call some of the DOM7 methods on that. So if I expand the prototype we have access to all of these methods right there. Okay, so let's just quickly see an example of um, DOM7 uh, CSS um, addition. Okay, so um, inside the source code, let's just go down here and we're going to say my list, which is a DOM7 collection. Okay, and then we're going to say dot CSS. So the CSS method is going to add a CSS um, property and value to um, all the elements inside the collection. All right. So we're going to say font size and then 20 px. Okay. So I can save this and refresh the browser, and now we get this increased font size on the list. That's because we have this font size of 20 px on the unordered list element right there. So um, that is the whole basis of the DOM7, um, I guess, process. You first select the element and then you're going to use um, a method on that element. And just to um, demonstrate, typically you're going to see first the selection, okay, like that, and then dot CSS or um, the method you're using. So that is the most common um, representation of DOM7 in use. You select and then call the method. So that is the basics of selecting. Um, we can now look at some of the uh, more, I guess, advanced features um, when it comes to selecting elements. Okay, so um, let's now select all of the list item tags um, inside the my list element up there. Okay, so let's just make a new constant and call this one items. Okay, just equal to once again, the DOM7 selection. And I'm going to pass in ally right there. So once again, um, 
identical to the CSS selector where you just pass in um, a tag name and it's going to select all of the ally tags. So now, um, if I was to console.log the items, okay, save this and refresh the browser inside the console, we get once again a DOM7 collection, this time containing four elements. So now, whatever methods you call on the DOM7, it's going to apply it to all of these four elements right there. Okay, so um, back inside the source code, you can of course actually put hashtag my list and then a space and that right there is going to select all of the list item tags that are descendants of the my list id um, as opposed to that which selects all of the list item tags in the actual document okay so that is for the list item tags right there okay so we have this unordered list tag. What about the siblings of um, the unordered list? So um, this is a child of the body tag um, and the body tag contains quite a few more children, that being the h1 tag and these two script tags. So I'm going to use DOM7 to start at the unordered list tag and then select um, its siblings being h1 and then these two scripts okay so um, down here let's define a new constant and call this one list siblings okay which is equal to once again the dom7 selector of my lists okay and then we're gonna call a selection method this one is gonna be siblings okay so this method right here selects all of these siblings of the previous collection. All right, so um, if I was to console.log list siblings, all right, in the console, refresh, and we get the two script tags followed by the h1 tag. So um, we can see we can actually traverse up um, the document object model using DOM7. Okay. So we've also got something called the find method, which is commonly seen used inside jQuery. Um, so um, we're going to actually select this strong tag with a class of sour um, inside or starting from the my list. All right. So um, inside the JavaScript, let's just make a new constant and call this one sour lemons, and this will be that tag right there. Um, it'll be equal to once again selecting the ID of my lists, okay, and then calling the find method. Um, this one will take in a, another selector. Um, we're going to put ally dot sour. This means um, find every list item tag with a class of sour that is a descendant of um, the my list ID. All right, so this means basically select that right there. It's sort of visual um, in the actual code. Okay, so um, if I was to console log this out, we can see we get the, um, okay, maybe not. Let's just check this one more time. Class of sour, oh, sorry, um, a strong, a strong um, tag with a class of sour. Okay, let's try this one more time. Save and refresh. We get this this strong tag right there with a class of sour. So that is the find method. Um, so what if now you want to start from this strong tag and then find its parent? That is quite straightforward. So let's just make a new constant down here and call this one um, sour lemons uh, parent or even sour parent. Okay, this will be equal to um, once again calling the same thing as earlier. So my list dot find uh, strong dot sour. And then we're going to say parent. Okay, parent. So um, if I was to console dot log sour parent using the parent method right there, save and refresh. Um, this time we get the ally that is the parent of the um, uh, strong with a class of sour so just keep in mind that I'm using the long version of um, that expression right there I can actually just say from sour lemons I can just get rid of all this 
and then say dot parent because that right there is actually a DOM7 collection um, object. So um, that will also work. I can just save and refresh and we get the same result um, right there. Okay, so no difference between those two. All right. Um, we can also select all of the ancestors um, of this sour lemons collection. Um, so this means basically select the ally and then the ally's parent and then the parent to that and the parent to that. Um, so let's make a new constant and call this one sour ancestors. Okay, equal to uh, sour lemons and then dot parents with an S. Okay, so I can console.log sour ancestors, save this and refresh and this time our collection looks like that. So we have the ally, then the unordered list, then the body, HTML, and then finally the document. All right, so um, those are all the ways, or uh, the most common ways, um, you will see how to actually uh, select elements inside DOM7. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.